Hello, Grade 12s. Today we will work with challenging questions which ask us to find the derivative for functions by using first or basic principles. In order for us to determine the derivative using first principles, we use the formula f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Remember that you can also say f prime x rather than f dash x. Now let's look at our first example. Determine the derivative f dash of x of the function f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x at a point on the curve by using first principles. To start answering this question, we will use the first principle formula, which reads f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now we need to substitute the values of f of x and f of x plus h in the derivative formula. To do this, we first need to determine what these values are. We know that f of x is the function that was given to us. Therefore, f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2x. In order to determine f of x plus h, we substitute x plus h in f so that f of x plus h is equal to 3 bracket x plus h close bracket squared minus 2 bracket x plus h close bracket. It is a lot easier to work with f of x plus h if we multiply it out first. So let's do that. Therefore, f of x plus h is equal to 3 bracket x plus h close bracket bracket x plus h close bracket minus 2 bracket x plus h close bracket. Multiplying the brackets, we get 3 bracket x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h. We simplify the expression further by adding like terms and get 3 bracket x squared plus 2xh plus h squared close bracket minus 2x minus 2h. This equals 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus h. Now that we found the value of f of x and f of x plus h, we can substitute them in. The formula will read f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus open bracket 3x squared minus 2x close bracket over h. Next we need to multiply out the brackets. Remember that the minus on the outside of the brackets need to be multiplied by the terms on the inside of the brackets. Next, we need to add the like terms in the numerator. This will leave us with 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h in the numerator. We have multiplied out all the brackets and added the like terms. Now we need to simplify the fraction. In order to do this, we need to factorize. H is the common factor. We take it out and are left with H brackets 6x plus 3H minus 2 close brackets in the numerator and H in the denominator. We now cancel the H in the numerator with the H in the denominator and end with the limit as H tends to 0 of 6x plus 3H minus 2. 3h will tend to 0 as h tends to 0, so that the limit of 6x plus 3h minus 2 is equal to 6x minus 2. Please note that the limit as h tends to 0 is dropped at this change. Therefore, the derivative f dash x of f of x equal to 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 6x minus 2. That wasn't too bad. Why don't we challenge ourselves with a function that has a fraction, like a hyperbola? Let's take a look. Determine the derivative f dash of x of f of x equal to 1 divided by x by using first principles. We will start by using the first principle formula. 
which reads f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now let's determine the values of f of x and f of x plus h. We know that f of x is the function that was given to us. Therefore, f of x is 1 divided by x. In order to determine f of x plus h, we substitute x plus h in so that f of x plus h is equal to 1 divided by x plus h. We can't simplify this any further. We now substitute f of x and f of x plus h into the derivative formula. The formula will read f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of 1 divided by x plus h minus 1 divided by x all divided by h. To make this easier to deal with, let's first work with the numerator. We have to take the lowest common denominator in order to simplify the two fractions. The lowest common denominator of x plus h and x is x multiplied by brackets x plus h close bracket. We simplify the numerator which will give us x minus x minus h in the numerator. We add like terms and get minus h divided by x bracket x plus h close brackets. We've simplified as much as we can. So let's substitute this back into the numerator and simplify the fraction further. Minus h divided by x bracket x plus h close bracket divided by h is equal to minus h divided by x bracket x plus h close bracket divided by h over 1. This becomes minus h over x bracket x plus h close brackets times 1 over h. We simplify further and get minus 1 divided by x bracket x plus h close bracket. Therefore, f dash of x is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of minus 1 divided by x open bracket x plus h close bracket. As h tends to 0, x plus h will tend to x. Therefore, the derivative f dash x is equal to minus 1 over x squared. Did you notice that in both our examples, we simplified the numerators before trying to simplify the whole fraction? The trick with these calculations is to take it slowly and to get each step correct. Thank you for joining us, grade 12s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this series and to look at our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn for more resources. Goodbye.